Illinois police arrest girlfriend of Romeo Nance, the suspect accused of killing seven family members. More after this. Hello everyone and welcome back to AFG's Point of View, where I give you my analysis on the most popular topics in the world today. Today's video, we have the girlfriend of Romeo Nance, who was arrested for obstructing justice and causing some twists in the case. Before I dive into the details of the video, if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to AFG's Point of View. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. <clears throat> Hit that like button as well. Bring more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over. Similar to yourself. I'm on normal subscribers. Thanks for coming back. I'm diving in. <clears throat> Police in Illinois have arrested the girlfriend of Romeo Nance, the shooter accused of killing seven family members in a series of homicides at two homes last weekend before taking his own life earlier this week in Texas. A Joel A. Police department says 21-year-old Kylie Cleveland Singleton is now being held at the Will County Adult Det Detention Center on a charge of obstructing justice. Upon locating Cleveland Singleton, she voluntarily agreed to be transported to the Jolay Police Department for questioning in reference to the homicides. Following questioning of Cleveland Singleton, detectives believe that she made statements in order to prevent the apprehension of the suspect and obstruct this investigation. AKA, she lied. Nance ultimately was found by U.S. Marshals near Natalia, Texas, about 8.30 p.m. Monday and shot and killed himself with a handgun following a confrontation with law enforcement. Isn't that how it always goes? You do a whole bunch of destruction. And now you ain't going to jail because you don't want to be facing, you know, the crimes that you're, you know, dealing with. And, you, and res, as a result, you just take yourself out. Cowardly move on my behalf, on his behalf, rather, in my opinion. Investigators say seven of Nancy's family members were killed and two homes on West Acres Road in the Chicago suburb on Sunday. Now check this out, y'all. They were identified as Nance's mother, Tamika Nance, age 47, his aunt, Christine Esters, age 38, his uncle, William Esters II, age 35, his brother, Joshua Nance, age 31, and sister Alexandra Nance, age 20, and 16 and a 14 year old sister. And because they're under the age of 21, rather 18, they can't really release their names. So to protect the youth. So this guy goes out and kills three of his sisters, his one brother, his uncle, his aunt, and his mother, who brought him in this world. This is unbelievable, y'all. This is totally unbelievable, and I, can, I can't imagine. I literally cannot imagine what that family is going through right now, preparing. Well, this happened last weekend, so yeah. Pretty much having to have seven caskets up there. Can you imagine? One family? Wow. During this investigation, detectives quickly identified 23-year-old Romeo Nance as a suspect in the homicides on West Acres Road, and it was believed that he was also involved in a fatal shooting being investigated by the Will County Sheriff's Office, as well as a non-fatal shooting in Jolac. So what was this kid, like a gang member or something, or what? Like, what was his deal? Because he's running around here, he's just killing all kinds of people. You know what I'm saying? Now, obviously, the cops are saying this, you know, investigation remains active and they're trying to piece all the, you know, everything together and trying to get everything tied to a bow so they can put this file away. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to allow you to go on and read yourself. Um, I'll put the link in the description so that way you can dig a little bit deeper. Um, but, yeah, let's talk about it. 
I mean, you got seven people that's dead. You know what I'm saying? That's a family that's going through a lot of grieving. Now, I don't know what's in the water in Chicago, but I'm hearing a whole bunch of bad things about, people, you know, the youth in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? I know it's a gang-related activity out there. Um, it's a lot of angry people out there. Everyone in Chicago is not angry. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of... A lot of drama out there, you know what I'm saying? In the Midwest, you know what I'm saying? Not really the Midwest. It's not really in the West Side. It's really, it's like in the middle of the country, but it's closer to Philadelphia than it is to California, so it's not really Midwest, but um, it's a sad situation. Sad, sad situation. How can anyone in their right mind kill their mother? How could you just kill? Your mom gave birth to you. Okay, she gave birth to you. Um, for someone to go out there and to kill their mom, you, you got to be on something, bro. It's, it's got to be something going on with you because your mom took care of you. You know what I'm saying? And you know, you're the ripe age of 23. And maybe you didn't get what you wanted. You know what I'm saying? Maybe mom wasn't always a giving person and she wasn't always um, quick to give you a handout to help you out. And maybe she was pushing you to be a man. Who knows? I don't know what the situation is. Where's dad in this situation? I haven't heard anything about dad. Maybe dad was at work. Maybe dad was in prison. Maybe dad was just not in the situation at all. Maybe it was somebody else. There is no say or anything with dad. See, situations like this, especially with young men, they need a father in their life. Now, granted, he's not going to listen to the younger uncle. The younger uncle might have been like, yo, chill, you know, but him being so young, he might have, you know, rated, you know, could have been an altercation, you know what I'm saying? Could have been an argument that triggered the kid and then made him kind of go loco and just decide to go kill everybody, you know what I'm saying? But you went to two different homes. So this is what I'm not getting. You went to two different homes to go kill these people. Like, you went to one, and then your little sisters. Like, why are you killing your little sisters. They ain't got nothing to do with this shit. They ain't do nothing to you. They might have took mom's side because you said something and you did something and you felt some kind of way you was in your feelings. But the thing that gets me is when people go out there and do these mass murders, they turn the gun on themselves. That's just flat out selfish. Because they know what they did was wrong. They know what they did was wrong. Okay? And they can't face the punishment. They can't face it. So they much rather take themselves out Okay, and not face the punishment. But what they don't, what they fail to realize is, yeah, you took yourself out. You didn't face that punishment. But for all those crimes that you just committed, you gonna have a nice toasty spot in hell waiting for you. Okay, and you know you thought you got away with it, but you didn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't care anything about your own life, don't be selfish. And go take somebody else's life. You know what I'm saying? I'm not telling you to go kill yourself because that's not, you know, that's not something for me to tell you to go do. But don't go out here, okay, and, uh, and, and you know, impact someone else's life negatively because you feel some kind of way about your life. I may have a bad day at work. Hey dad, how are you? What? What did you say to me? Like, you know what I'm saying? People are looking for things to try to, you know, trigger themselves. You know what I'm saying? Hey, honey, what you want for dinner? What? I will kill you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Little small things that just make people trigger. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know what's going on with the kid. Maybe someone out there in YouTube land, you know what I'm saying? Someone watching this video may know about this situation and may know this kid, Romeo Nance. You may know about it. You may be from Chicago. You may have heard the story. Fill us in the comment section, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I'm going by what national media has. Everything is a vague story. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing some digging and, you know, looking around, trying to find something. And, you know, I usually come up with the same old mundane, you know, black kid kills family. You know what I'm saying? And nothing, nothing, you know, that you could kind of put your finger on and say, well, hey, listen, you know, this is what happened. This is why it happened. You know what I'm saying? And maybe we could do something to figure out how we can prevent this in the future from happening. That family is devastated, y'all. 
That family is completely devastated and I'm devastated for them. That's a whole family. You know what I'm saying? Think about it. You got three sisters and one brother, your mom, your whole family gone. And your aunt and uncle gone. Grandma, if she's living, is devastated. Grandpa, if they're living, is devastated. Everyone else is living. In, man, like, what do you do? What do you do? Um, that's it, y'all. I'm just giving a moment of silence for those people that lost their lives in this senseless act of violence. Thank you. Um, if you like what you've heard, please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button as well. Bring more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over. Similar to yourself, I'm my normal subscribers. Thanks for coming back on my new subscribers. Welcome. Welcome to AV's point of view. Do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. We get more stories like this. We get more interaction from the, you know, the internet people out there in the, in the world. This big, wonderful world we have, you know, we got bad people out here in this world, but I refuse to believe that all humanity is bad. We all got a little bad in us, but we all ain't bad, you know what I'm saying? So, um, if we all work together, you know what I'm saying, bring everybody together and try to do what we can do, you know, hopefully we, this world can change and, you know, we can do more positive than negative. Come visit me on my Instagram, my TikTok, my Twitter. YouTube Shorts, Facebook, AFG's TV, and anywhere else you can find me at. Um, I'm doing my best to keep up with all the different social medias and all that. Sometimes you may not see me on TikTok. Sometimes you may not see me on Instagram. Sometimes you may not see me on Facebook. I'm all over the place. I'm still a regular dude. You know what I'm saying? I got, you know, two beautiful children that I like to be around, that I love to hang around. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, be a father and, you know, companion and, you know, doing the best I can do. So, but what you can do is just go check. I got a bunch of videos, y'all. I got a bunch of stuff out here. So go look, there's a ton of content out there for you to look at. So if you don't see me for a couple of days, no fear. I'll be back and I'm slamming y'all all weekend with shorts, did this video and I'll be on Facebook, I'll be on Instagram. TikTok all over the place. I'm just dedicating my time to y'all because I feel like I've neglected y'all long enough. So with that being said, I love every single one of y'all and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.